All right, well, I'm really proud of our guys. That's a heck of a win. Seattle team's really good. They're playing well. Um, just proud of them. Came back, again, battled some adversity. Uh, we talked about our defense. Uh, held them to 40%, 34 in the first half. Great job. We we're going to hang our hat on defense. We really concentrated on that to, to win the rebounding battle against a good rebounding team. 47 to 31 was huge. Uh, despite going one for 14 from three, uh, we scored 80 points. So just proud of my guys. They, they, uh, they grinded it out and found a way to win. Um, made some big plays down the stretch. So couldn't be happier with them. It was a great win for us. Well, like I, like I said, Richard, we're, 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 we, we've been trying to find identity. I told our identity right now we're the best defense team in the WAC, and that's what, that's what our identity is. And they have to grasp that and become uh, happy with that and embrace it and wear that as a sense of pride. And I think they did that tonight. Uh, offense hopefully will come, and I think it will. But we've got to keep, keep playing defense and really uh, hang our hat on being a, an aggressive defensive team. Uh, that can stop people, and I thought we did a good job of that. And that's where a lot of toughness comes in. If you can play defense for 40 minutes and get stops, you're a pretty tough team. Yeah, a lot. Um, I just felt like changing. I was too hot. So I wore the polos on the road trip, and they won. So yeah, I was done sweating through that shirt, man. I was too hot in here. I think our locker room, our AC was broke, so I came out sweating. So uh, that's enough. I may go polos the rest of the way. Can't do it. No, I got to lose some weight. That's ridiculous. What about Carlos now? It just sounds the way they play. You know, like that's what you got to have out of a senior and, and, and a junior who are your two best players. They got to play big, and they did. Um, you know, Ali struggled through some stretches uh, and had some foul trouble, um, but and played well. Carlos down the stretch was big, and that's what you need out of your two best players. Mikey obviously had an off game. That's fine. He's allowed. Uh, he's still going to be a big part of our offense. He's got to score better, but he had a bad game. We had other guys step up. I thought Bryce did a good job. I thought Doobie was, was effective. Uh, Isaiah, when he's in there, you know, Javon had foul trouble. But uh, Carlos and, and I, Alessandro, um, they're going to have to take a, the brunt of, of the offensive stuff. After a big road trip, one two games at Chicago State UFKC, how important it was it for the team to start off strong like they did early um, to continue that momentum? Yeah, you know, we, you, can't, you can't think about doing special things here in the WAC and lose at home. We've already lost a home game. Um, you have to go out and steal wins on the road, which is extremely hard. Uh, and we have to come home and take care of home, home court. And we haven't done that this year. And I told the guys, I don't know, it's because if they're comfortable. I think on the road, they feel a sense of togetherness. And uh, you know, they're in the same hotel. And it's us against them. And that kind of mentality. We're meeting all day. We're in, in, in you know, meeting rooms, eating lunch together, all that stuff. So uh, they just can't come here and be comfortable because we have the greatest crowd. Um, that's not going to push you through. Uh, you got to come out here with an urgency to uh, to take care of business, and I thought we did that. Um, they understand that we can't lose home games. Um, and it doesn't matter who you're playing or whatever. It's going to be a fight no matter where you play, home or away. Uh, it's going to be a rock fight, and that's how it's going to be all year long. So very proud of our guys. They you know, put a, together a three-stretch. First time this year, I think we won three in a row. So happy for our guys. Assuming uh, still a little bit of an issue. Just keep working. You know, uh, we've been shooting the ball well from three. Today was bad. Um, we just got to play downhill. I thought at the beginning of the game, we moved the ball well, and then we got a lead, and then that selfishness of, oh, this is going to be a good one. Let's, let's take one or two dribbles and, and jack shots. So we have proven that we're not a good shooting team if it's a one-on-one -on -one dribble. Now, the only guy that really does that well sometimes is Carlos, and the other guy is Mikey. Mikey obviously had an off night tonight. Uh, so we're a lot better when we move the basketball, when we throw it inside, we drive and we kick. Uh, in that first half, we were driving and we were finding guys, and all of a sudden we drove and we started trying to score over three or four guys instead of kicking. So we got to stay away from that selfishness and, and get, keep playing for others, and that's how we're successful. So we just keep working on shooting. I don't know what else there to do. We, we, it almost seems like the more we shoot in practice, the worse we get in the game. So these guys put up a lot of shots in practice. We shoot it well. Um, as I said, one for 14 from three is not good, but to go 27 from 33 from the line, and, and to rebound like that was great. Now, I was really disappointed in our turnovers. We're not a team that turns the ball over. We had three or four turnovers out of baseline out of bounds. So Carlos has to get better at that. We just got to be stronger with the ball. Some of that was Bryce as a freshman, um, but we'll get better at that. But we can't turn the ball over uh, at that clip. We've been really good at this, that, that this, uh, this year.
Uh, this is the toughest year I've had by far. Uh, you know, it was, it was a challenge right from the beginning. Like I said, when we started this year, I, we didn't even know what our roster was. We had some ineligible guys that may get eligible, may not get eligible. Uh, you know, some guys uh, had a surgery. He's out. Uh, been playing with a short rotation. Mikey comes back at the semester. Um, so, yeah, this has been a, a, a huge challenge. But I, I enjoy it just as much as I have any other year. It's just a different challenge. Um, uh, it's we have two we have three seasons. The first season it was a bad in non-conference. Uh, Wax season started off horrible, but it's all about how you finish. And right now we just got to keep rolling. And as I said, for a coach, you just got to keep coaching your guys and hopefully keep getting better every night. And by the end of the year, the third season kick in, kicks in, and that's the most important one when you go to the WAC tournament. So we're just fighting every day. I got to give a lot of credit to our players. They they never got down. They buy into the coaching. They work extremely hard. This has been a difficult year for everybody. We're not used to losing around here, for everybody, for the fans, for the president, for me. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of sleepless nights thinking about this stuff because I'm, I'm as competitive as they get, and losing's no fun. And like I said, we're not, the, we're not used to losing around here. So we'll keep fighting, and this was a great win for us. Uh, I love my guys. They work extremely hard. We got to get smarter, as you saw down the stretch, uh, but we got to keep working. No, no. You just got to you just got to uh, adjust to how they're calling uh, the plays. It was tough because that team, Seattle, is a three-point shooting team and drive downhill. So it's hard to guard. And if they're going to call ticky tack fouls, and it's going to be hard. So that's why we started doing it. We just started start driving downhill. Just start, and they're going to have to call it because if anything, they're going to be consistent. So yeah, it, it's it's hard when when they call it that tight. Nobody likes to see that. But you got to adjust as a player. Um, to how they're, ref, how they're refing the game. And those are good refs. We've had those guys before. Whatever for the reason, they decided to call it tight. So they have, the players have to adjust to it. Yeah, he's, he's one of the best players in the league. You know, but I'll tell you what, he scored 31 points on 28 shots. I'll take that every night. You know, 28 shots. And if you've got to get you know, 28 shots, get 31. Now, he's, he's unbelievably, he's really a good player. We had no answer for him. We tried to blitz him. We tried to white him. We tried to ice him. We tried to do all these things. He's a really good player. But he had 31 points and it took 28 shots. So sometimes you've got to live with that kind of effort. But he's a, there's, there's not a whole lot you can do with him because he's a downhill, strong, bodies you, and has got a great mid-range game, which you don't really see a lot uh, in this game anymore. So he's, he's a handful to handle. That's for sure. Uh, well, we're going to need uh, bench production, obviously. We don't get, uh, you know, the two guys are big is, is Isaiah and Lorenzo. Um, I thought Lorenzo had a good game. Uh, you know, Isaiah made his free throws. Uh, uh, and Bryce is just solid. Bryce is a freshman who we were going to redshirt. So he, he really should be playing. But he's made such strides. He gives energy. He can rebound the basketball. He blocks shots. So I'm happy with all those guys. Uh, Isaiah and uh, Lorenzo have to come in. And I don't ask them to score a lot. I ask them to be solid defensively, make open shots, and make the right play. And I thought uh, both those guys did a good job tonight. Thanks for showing up, man. Thank you for inviting Yeah. See you in another 12 years or something? Good. Uh, good. You look good in your suit. You look nice. Is that it? <laughs>